Hi, Nick here. In this video, we are going to ask the question, can living systems be reduced down to the underlying laws of physics? Can life be based on a physical process that is explained by physics? To do this, we need to know the difference between a living system and a non-living or innate object. To explain this, we are going to look at the difference between a living tree and a dead tree. This is because plant life is simpler than animal life and interacts in a more direct way with the light of the sun and the atoms of the soil. Also, a tree has no overall command center as we have in the form of a brain. This makes it more simple to explain, but also more incredible that we can have such complexity and diversity without a central command center. The important thing is, if we can reduce plant life down to a physical process that can be explained by physics, we can do it with all life. This is because even the most complex, intelligent life is based on the same process of cell reproduction. Tree growth is mainly at the branch tips and root ends where the new growth is in contact with the light of the electromagnetic spectrum in the form of sunlight or the atoms of the periodic table in the form of soil. In both cases there will be an exchange of photon or biophoton energy with the movement of charge. This is because charge is an innate part of all matter. Therefore whatever a physical or biological system does there will be the movement of charge we can see this with the build-up and organization of positive and negative charge relative to the membrane of each living cell. The movement of charge is formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light photon energy. Light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent. Therefore we have a physical process that can form an individual reference frame that is needed for cell life. And because the process is spontaneous, it can also form the driving force within that frame of reference. The same physical process can be seen in non-living innate objects. Water is a very good example of this. The atoms bond together relative to positive and negative charge with the exchange of photon energy in the form of hydrogen bonds forming and breaking. Even in non-living objects this process can form patterns of infinite diversity. If we look at a living tree and a dead tree the physical difference at the most fundamental level is that in the living tree charge is organized relative to the structure of the tree as an emergent process with the future unfolding photon by photon. The future growth will be relative to photons interacting with the individual wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum of light and biophotons within the tree as part of a universal process. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light of the electromagnetic spectrum, we would be able to see that everything is radiating light with the continuous exchange of photon energy. This continuous process of energy exchange forms the continuum of time with the momentum and the geometrical structure for the 
biological dynamics of cell life. In my other videos I explain this in much greater detail as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. Such a process can form the potential for entropy and disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the complexity and diversity of cell life. When the spherical symmetry breaks, it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes, with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere. Therefore the answer to the question is yes. All living systems can be reduced down to the underlying laws of physics. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.